I recently got an email from Martin. He has one Evernote account that he uses for personal and work notes and tasks. And he's trying to find a solution to, when he's at home, see only his personal notes and tasks, especially on Evernote Home. And Martin, I'm not sure I'm the right person to help you here. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if that's possible. If you guys have any idea, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I uh, started with one account. It was a premium account back then. It, I always use that account for personal and work notes and no task back then. But when Evernote released Evernote Teams, this was in 2014, if I'm not mistaken, I moved all my notes, my business notes to the Teams account. Back then it was called, uh, what it was called? Business, business, Evernote Business. And it lasted for maybe a year. It didn't work as I was expecting, so I ended up moving all the notes back to my premium account. And a couple of years ago, I tried again. Uh, this time I didn't move all the notes, but yeah, I didn't like it. So I ended up moving everything back, but now I have the professional account and it has more options, especially on Evernote Home. But technically speaking, I don't see a way to really separate personal and work notes and tasks. So here's what I'm doing. Maybe it will inspire you. And again, if anyone else has ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Let's first talk about the separation itself. I don't think it's really possible because we are not two people. We are a single person. And this single person is following a single timeline. You know what I mean here? For example, let's say I have a personal matter that I have to deal with and the company I have to get in touch with is open on work hours. When I was working with two different Evernote accounts, I would not see that personal task, for example. The problem is the timeline is the same. So let's talk about the calendar. I have two calendars, one for work on my Google Workspace account and another one, a uh, personal calendar on my Google free account. That is not free anymore. Nothing is free anymore. I pay for Google One, so I pay for Google Workspace and also Google One. Anyway, my business calendar is connected to my personal calendar. So when I have the personal calendar open, I can see both and I can, of course, uncheck the, the business calendar and see only my personal calendar. It could be the other way around. I don't, I don't know why I did it like this, but it's working. And I have this personal calendar, Google Calendar, set on the Evernote calendar widget. And there I can also uncheck my business calendar and see only my personal calendar or the other way around. So the calendar is pretty easy. What I used to do and I don't do anymore was having all my work notebooks inside a work stack that you can collapse or expand to hide or see all the work notebooks. I don't do that anymore because I rarely go to the notebooks list. I use the command J keyboard shortcut or control Q for Windows to go to the notebook I, I want to work on. Okay, so I, I don't really care too much about the notebooks organization, the list, because I use a keyboard shortcut all the time. Yeah. This is the real problem here, especially if you are using the tasks widget on Evernote Home. I don't see an elegant way to separate personal and work tasks. There are many workarounds, but uh, for example, you can have multiple uh, filtered notes widgets filtering only tasks that are from personal notebooks but uh, that will not show you a list of tasks. It will show you notes 
that have the tasks. The other not elegant option here would be flag, for example, your personal tasks and instead of using the widget, use the drawer, the, the tasks drawer, because you can there set a filter to see only the flagged tasks and that filter is persistent if you leave the drawer, go work on another node and open that drawer again, the filter will be there. It will only change if you change the filter or clear the filters. Again, it's not an elegant solution. It's not going to work well on the widget because the widget prioritizes the due date. So if you have uh, work tasks with uh, a re today's due date, for example, they will be on the top of the list and the flagged ones will be below those uh, with the due date for today. Or the overdue tasks, they will also be on the top. So it's not a widget solution. I leave everything in the same widget because I all my tasks, most of them, 99.9% .9 of my tasks have due date and I try to set uh, feasible due dates and I usually complete the tasks when I'm supposed to and meaning that I will not see uh, a, a work task after work hours if I have a personal task coming up soon. But sometimes it will happen if I don't have any personal tasks. Of course, the, the next business tasks will be there, but I, I'm okay with that. that. That's, I don't know, that's a personal thing. I'm okay with that situation. And finally, we have the 12 possible widgets on Evernote Home. Uh, many of you already know that I have the calendar, the tasks, and uh, Scratchpad as my first widget. So that's what I see when I open Evernote Home. Below that, I have some personal widgets and below that, my company widgets, things that are work related. So it's kind of in blocks. And if I don't scroll the screen up and down, I will only see those three widgets, the calendar, the tasks, and the scratch pad. It works for me, but again, I don't think this is the best solution for Martin's case because he really wants to separate things. This is an interesting topic, but I don't think there is an easy solution. So again, please tell us what you do. How do you deal with work and personal notes and tasks? Uh, what do you do on Evernote Home? Please share your ideas with everybody. Let's, uh, let's start a, a, a debate here about this topic. It's a very interesting topic. Thanks for watching. See you soon.